So open up the Kismet on my main menu, and we're going to copy this subsection that links the FS commands to console commands. Control C in the Kismet. Now we're going to open up my level 01, and in the Kismet there, we're going to paste it, Control V. And this saves us some time from having to redo that step since we're trying to get the same functions from our buttons. Now instead of loading a menu on level load, we're going to load it and unload it when you press the escape key. So the first thing we need to do is create a new event. Input key button pressed. And under this, the input names, create a new input name. And it is escape. And this references the escape key. Okay. Now we're going to create a new variable that's a bool. Value is zero for false. And the variable name is going to be bool escape. This is something that we'll reference later on. Now we need to create a new condition, comparison, comparable. And we've got a couple of actions we're going to do. You'll recognize these. So our first new action is going to be toggle, toggle cinematic mode. This essentially freezes the camera whenever you enter this state. And for it to work, we need a new variable. And that will be player. And we're going to uncheck all players and link it to the target of toggle cinematic mode. Next, we're going to do another new action GFX UI, open GFX movie. Now, if you remember in our generic browser, which you can access with Control Shift F. We need to highlight that SWF movie, so that back in our Kismet, we can import it with the little green arrow on Open GFX Movie. And we're going to click Start Paused. Now we're not only opening this movie, we're also going to be closing it when we press Escape again. So we need another new action, GFX UI close GFX movie. And for it to know which movie to close, we're going to create a new variable. This time it's going to be an object. And object. Now the object value is that same movie, so go ahead and click the green arrow again. And you can also name this variable if you want to. Just pick something that makes sense for you. But we're going to leave it unnamed. Now link this to the movie player on Open GFX Movie and to the movie player on Closed GFX Movie. That way they'll reference the same movie. Okay, so we have our basic actions. Now we need to create a switch to toggle between them. And I'm going to go ahead and name this SWF Movie Dash Menu. Because why not? So now we're going to create that switch. So the first thing we're going to do is a new action, set variable, bool. And we need two of these. So we're going to select it, copy, paste, and we've got another one. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up, give us some space to work with. And move that out of the way. So 
So now we need some variables. And we have a bool, and we're going to copy and paste this so that we have three of them. Two should be false, and one should be true. Do that by changing the b value to one instead of zero. And we're going to go ahead and connect these. So connect compare bool to one false and bool value to true and the other bool value to false. Now we're going to create a named variable and its expected type is sequence bar bool and we're going to be referencing bool escape the variable we created at the beginning now default to false so keep that in mind I'm going to connect that to bool on compare bool and to the target for both of the set variable bools there we go let's move this make it a little cleaner Now we just have to connect everything. So key button pressed to in on compare bool. Now true, since we have it set to false initially, we're going to set it to true on the set variable. It's using defaults. And this true condition is going to be closing the movie. So you want it to disable toggle cinematic mode. Now we need to link false to the opposite, so when it reads false we're going to set it back to true. This allows us to actually switch the variable. And we're going to set that to open GFX movie and to enable toggle cinematic mode. And that should be everything, it's really messy. So we're going to clean up, make it a little bit more readable, and move these squares down. And that's what your final kismet should look like. So let's close that, save, and we're going to launch this level on PC. So right now we're in my level 01. So here we are looking around and we press escape and we can access this menu. We're going to go to level 2. Can look around. It works great. Now we don't have this menu in level 2 yet. So what we're going to do is open our Kismet and copy the entire thing. So highlight it all. Copy. My level 2, open Kismet, and paste. So we have all that work, and it's already done. So save again, and we're going to play from level 2 this time. So we look up, we've got the night sky, press escape, we've got our menu. If we go to select, we can select level 1, we're up there, escape back to level 2. And notice that you can click escape on and off to get to the menu and close the menu. And our quit button works.